Hi, and welcome to Z Code System Sports Picks. Here we develop and share automated systems to help you win and to win big consistently. So, as we reach the end of October, there are some clear cut favorites emerging in the NFL. In the NFC, the Rams are the top team with the Saints right behind, and in the AFC, the Chiefs and New England is coming on very strong as well. So, can the Rams remain undefeated? We'll take a look at their game against the Saints and more. So if you look here at the VIP club, if you are a member of the VIP club, it's really great because you can go through down through here and look at every single game and pretty much everything that you want to see. Like this first one here, the Raiders at San Francisco. You can see all the statuses here and the odds. And on the side here, there's a probability of winning. There's a score prediction right here. Down the left side here, you can go to any one of the oscillators. Power ranking indicator, head to head, tollers predictor, and so on and so forth. So you can get everything right from this page, and included, you'll see uh, user comments on the game. But we're not interested in that game. We want the Rams and the Saints. So I'm going to scroll down through here to that matchup. Now you can see there's all these other games coming up. And you can look at these at your leisure if you're interested in more games than I am covering right here. But for right now, let's get to the Rams and the Saints. So that's all the way down here there. That's Chargers. There we go, the Rams and the Saints. So if you look here, the Saints are a one or two point favorite depending on on uh, what odds booker you're looking at. So um, here we go. So the Saints here have a 53% chance of winning compared to 47 for the Rams. Both teams are burning hot. You can see the Rams here have a less odds of winning here at 2.2 compared to the Saints at 1.75. And again, the Saints are the favorite for this game. So um, the line is telling me a little bit of something here because the Rams have been heavy favorites all year. Now, the Rams did just barely squeak by uh, Green Bay last week at home while the Saints beat Minnesota 30-20. And then there's score predictions right here as well. So this is a really good tool, but I'm going to go to the uh, power ranking indicator now. So let's go back up to here. You see the power ranking indicator, the Rams are at 31, New Orleans at 30, so they are very closely matched as far as that goes. So again, the, the line is telling me something. The Saints are a one-point favorite at home, and I believe they're actually going to come out and take down the Rams. So that means if this happens, the 1972 Dolphins are still the only undefeated team in NFL history. So the Rams will lose this one, I believe, and... The Saints will take this one, and so I think we should bet on the Saints. So let's take a look at the next game here. We're going to look at the Atlanta Falcons and the Washington Redskins. So what happened last week in the NFL between these two, with these two teams? Well, Atlanta, after a one and two start, or one and four start, excuse me, have won in their last two games. Washington barely got by the very poor New York Giants, but they did improve to five and two in their tops in the NFC East. Washington comes in at a one and a half point favorite. If you take a look here at the uh, power rankings indicator, you can see that Washington is on the rise and they're at plus 24 now. New England, or New England, Atlanta was way down at, at plus two just a few weeks ago. And they're also climbing with their recent win streaks, so they're up to plus seven. But you can see the big discrepancy here. Washington is way up on them. And if you also go to back to the uh, VIP pick section, you can go through their game and see some more information. Just have to find it now. So we go to Atlanta and Atlanta and Washington. All the information, there's a lot to go through here, so bear with it. There we go, Atlanta and Washington. Okay, so you see that both teams are burning hot burning hot. And the odds are there's close odds here with Washington at 1.83. And Atlanta at 2.1. And it's a very, very tight matchup, as you see, with Washington having a 51% chance of winning the ball game compared to 49% for Atlanta. And the confidence of prediction that the Redskins will win here is 52.58%. So, you know, it's a fairly more than 50 50 chance of winning. You can see here some of the comments people have made. And Actually, here's one that, that I have posted right here. After one four starts, the Falcons won their last two. You can read this right here. Um, I think the Falcons, for some reason, I'm just going with the gut feeling on this one. The Falcons are the underdogs, but I am feeling that the 
Falcons will pull this one out. It'll be close. It'll, it'll happen late. And I think the Falcons will take this one by a field goal. So let's look at the next game here. I had the Detroit Lions and the Washington, or excuse me, and the uh, Minnesota Vikings. And here again, this is a power rankings indicator. If you look here, Minnesota is trending upward. Detroit is trending upward. Minnesota has a plus 23 to plus 17 edge on this indicator. They are a five and a half point favorite. Minnesota coming off a loss to the Saints, 30 to 20. Detroit's coming off a loss to Seattle. Minnesota is 4-3 and 1 on the season, while Detroit is 3 and 4. Last year, the two teams split the meetings. So, again, let's go back to the uh, VIP section. This is one of my favorite sections again because it shows everything all on one page. So let's find the game between Minnesota and Detroit as we scroll down through. There we go, Detroit and Minnesota. So you see here, again, it's pretty close, 54%. It is a, it is a, a slight edge, again, for Minnesota, and they're playing at home, so it should be. 54% chance of winning to 46% for Detroit. If you look back here, average down for Minnesota and also average down for Detroit. And you see here about the odds. Minnesota at 1.49, Detroit at 2.84. So what I'm seeing here is that um, Minnesota at home, they should win the game. It's by five and a half, so I'm thinking a seven point win. Maybe, maybe they don't cover the spread though. As you look down here, I made the comment here about the two teams and um, like I say, I agree that Minnesota will win, but don't be surprised if the Lions cover. So I think they look for a field goal late to decide this one. So yeah, I think Minnesota will win the game, but don't be surprised if Detroit covers on this one. Okay, so if we look back at the last game, the week that I'm considering, it is right here. I have to scroll through pages here. I need to find the last game. There we go, Pittsburgh and Baltimore. If you look here at Pittsburgh and Baltimore, you can see the clear trend. Pittsburgh start off 1, 2, and 1, but they have won their last three. Baltimore start off at 4 and 2, and they've lost their last two. So you can see the trend going down for Baltimore. They're down to plus 18. Pittsburgh has been on the rise here and now at plus 25. So they've overtaken Baltimore in the uh, power rankings indicator. Even so, Baltimore, having won the first meeting this year, September 30th, by its 26 to 14 score, is a three point favorite in this one. So let's take a look here at the ball game on this page here. So let's get Pittsburgh and Baltimore. Again, this is a tough NF, uh, AFC North battle, so expect this one to be pretty close. It'll probably be a defensive oriented game. And it comes down to kicking. Baltimore has the edge. Justin Tucker is one of the best in the league, even though he did miss a, an extra point a few weeks ago. So we're going to go down through here. Here we go, Baltimore and Pittsburgh. So you see here, Baltimore has a slightly better chance, according to the odds, at 1.7. Pittsburgh's odds at 2.29. Baltimore is averaged down. As you can understand, they're going down because of the last two. And Pittsburgh, with three wins in a row, are burning hot. If you look at the prediction here, forecast, it's a 52% chance for Pittsburgh to win and 48% chance for Baltimore to win. And here, the confidence in prediction, uh, Pittsburgh winning by two, 31-29, 85.54%. So that's a really good chance that they're thinking that Pittsburgh is going to win this game. Um, my take on it, it's going to be close. It'll be very close, like I said before. Um... I feel that Baltimore is going to have an edge just because they're playing at home and because of the kicking in, like I said before. So I'm going to go against what is being shown on here. I'm thinking Baltimore is going to win this one. And I think they're actually going to win this one by a field goal. So since the line is three, Pittsburgh would actually cover. So I think Pittsburgh could very well cover, but Baltimore is going to win the game. <coughs> Okay, so there you have it for this week's picks. I have those four games for you. I thank you for watching. And if not already a member of Z Code Club, make a point and join and start winning today. We'll see you next week. Bye for now.